Brave Sun Pokemon Leaf Green, we entered the Cinnabar Island Pokemon Research Lab, and there's a bunch of people in there trying to rip you off with bad trades. We fell out of a window at the Pokemon Mansion, apparently. Then we went back in and got the secret key. And then we used the secret key to unlock Cinnabar Island's gym. Hello, it's Dimation. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we entered the Pokemon Mansion, and we stole a key. The key we used to unlock Cinnabar Island's Pokemon gym. So in this episode, let's go and take on that gym. Or at least straightforward line of events. Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym. Leader Blaine. The headed quiz master. Oh god. What kind of quiz? Math quiz? Don't make me learn. So hey Clyde. The headed Blaine is a fire type Pokemon Pro. That was the spirits with water. You better take some burn heals too. Ah yes, the infamous burn heal line. Let's not get into that until we have to. Cinnabar Pokemon Gym. Leader Blaine. Winning trainers. God damn that Gary. Uh, goodbye, Repel. I won't miss you. So notice here inside of Cinnabar Island's Pokemon Gym, there are trainers, but they don't actually fight you if you walk in front of them. Basically, when all you fight the trainers in this gym is completely up to you. There are these quiz machines. Get it right and the door will open so you can advance into the next room. And if you get it wrong, you have to fight the trainer. So depending on how stupid you are, it'll depend on how many trainers you have to fight. Caterpie evolves into Metapod. Yes, that would be correct. And then Metapod evolves into Butterfree. Pokemon Go is, oh my god, the surprise. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No, of course not, there are ten. Just ask Gary. So it's not a very hard gym. It's just kind of tedious having to do the puzzle every time and go through the door. If you don't end up getting a question wrong for whatever reason, then the trainer is the dominant type in this gym is going to be Fire-type Pokemon, so Ground and Water-type Pokemon. Well, it evolves three times. No, it evolves twice. I don't think any Pokemon can evolve three times. Our electric move is effective against ground type Pokemon, not unless you aim for the horn. If there's any question in this gym that's actually going to trip you up, it'd probably be this one. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. I don't even know what this means, but yes. I don't think that question was in English. If it's talking about the IVs with the Pokemon have, then that would make a little bit more sense. TM28 contains Tombstoney. Ah yes, Tombstoney, the most powerful Pokemon move of all. Doesn't exist. So as you can see though, I got for this gym just fine without me to fight any trainers. I don't actually know if these machines do anything. Nope, they're just for decor. So we've made it to gym leader, which is Blaine. Blaine, of course, is the gym leader you like to use fire type Pokemon, so if you have a water type Pokemon or ground type Pokemon, put that at the front of your party. Also, they're weak against rock type moves, but there aren't too many powerful rock type Pokemon in Generation 1. So, let's fight this guy. Ha! I'm Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar's gym. My fire Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha, you better have burn heal. Ah, that's so terrible. So, it's time to the seventh gym leader of Pokemon Leaf Green, Leader Blaine. Starting off here with this leading Pokemon is Growlithe, level 42. If you're a fire type with the ability to intimidate, we moves bite, roar, take down, and fire blast. If you're leading off with a physical attacker, i.e. something like a rock type or a ground type, Intimidate will lower your physical attack, so it might be a good idea to switch out to something special. Crawl, of course, is a special attacker, so I don't have to worry about that. I probably should have used Surf there, but yeah, I killed it just fine. Alright, what's on next? Ponysaw. This is his weakest Pokemon, I think. Yep, Ponysaw, level 40, pure fire type with the ability Flash Fire with the move Stomp, Bounce, Fire Spin, and Fire Blast. And Fire Blast is his main attacking move, of course. It's a really powerful Fire-type move. Unfortunately, it has really low accuracy, so chances are he's not going to be hitting, it, hitting you with it too often. Okay, took down Ponytoes is fine. Up next is Rapidash. Rapidash, level 42 ability. Flash Fire, Pure Fire-type move. Stomp, Bounce, Fire Spin, and Fire Blast. Exact same move set as Ponyta. 
course, this thing is the evolved form of Ponyta, so it's going to have a lot um, higher attacking stats. So I might end up doing a bit more damage, but overall it's not too bad. The Ponyta family is pretty frail as far as defensive stats goes. And now for a Spotlight Pokemon. Arcanine, level 47, pure fire type, with the ability Intimidate, with the moves Bite, Roar, Take Down, and Fire Blast. Exact same moveset as Scrawlith, except now it's evolved and it's a lot more well, intimidating, of course. Okay, level well, 47 is a really high level for a Pokemon to be at this point in the game, and yeah, I didn't think Roll was going to live that. This, this thing has really, really high physical and special attacks, so it's going to be hitting you hard with pretty much no matter what it does. It's also, its defenses aren't too shabby either, so it might be able to live a few attacks. Thankfully I'll spend it there, so I'll be able to get a dig off on it. Yeah. This thing manages to use Fire Blast on you, don't expect to be taking that hit too well. Oh, nice grid clip. Okay. That was actually a lot less painful than I thought this gym fight was going to be. So we get the Volcano Badge, which finally a gym badge that kind of makes sense for the name. And he also gives us TM38, which contains, you guessed it, Fire Blast. Um, don't waste on Water Type Pokemon. Let me think of a list of Water Type Pokemon that can learn Fire Blast. I actually can't think of too many. I know Gyarados can learn it, and I'm pretty sure some other legendary Pokemon can learn it. Either way, it's a really powerful Fire Type move with low accuracy, so I'm not really sure we're not want to teach that to Spyro yet. We'll, f we'll see. And oh my god, it's Bill Clinton. It's been a while. Long time no see. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you're on Pokemon this time. One Island. That's a really inspired name for an island. So, Bill will ask you what night you want to come with him on an island trip. So, kidnapper. Let me go. Here we are. This is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Cello sent the boat to fetch me here. He's in charge of the island's PC network by his lonesome. Why am I telling you this now? Let's go see Cello. So welcome to One Island. This is a new area exclusive to Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red. It wasn't in the original games. I think the main reason they added in it was to put some space between the 7th gym and the 8th gym. And this Pokemon Center is being attacked by a gigantic machine in the wall. So we meet Bill's friend Cello, Nerds United, I guess. So we basically just got drives to the town to listen to these two talk. Two Island, oh my god. If only there was another island called Three Island. So Bill gives us a meteorite. Yeah. And we also get the Tri Pass. Oh my god. Tri, that means free. What if there's a three island? And we also get an extra page added to our town map, which is a map of the islands. So let's go ahead and have a look at that map now, shall we? Oh my god, one island. Oh my god, two island, it can't be. No, it's free island. So yes, this is quite exciting. We just got dragged from the Kanto region to these free isolated islands. So next on Pokemon Leaf Green, we'll be delivering that meteorite to whoever Bill wants us to deliver it to. And exploring Two Island and Three Island. Oh god, not Three Island. Anything but Three Islands. So I'll see you guys then.